Well, hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls, where we are currently in Ash Lake, um, exploring the place. I didn't do any grinding or anything off screen. I actually pretty much just went straight back to recording. And, um, this time I assure you, we're going to get inside that little decayed stump there and destroy that mushroom dude. I am going to unleash an unholy firestorm on him. Wow, this message is still here. You can take it, soldier. Carry on. Yeah, Hydra's not actually that difficult. Um, the first couple times I fought the Hydra in the Darkroot Garden, I honestly thought that it was going to be uh, a fairly impossible boss. But it didn't turn out to be that way. Also, I can get rid of this... Let's boost our item discovery, because I want more Twinkling Titanite. Even though it is not as useful to me as it could have been a long time ago before I bought a bunch of it, I'll still take it. And that was not as useful as I thought it was. Actually, I think last time I killed this thing by... Um, Oh, wow. I just now noticed... Oh, we'll look at that here in a second. Last time I killed this thing by using, the, like, the last of my Firestorm on it. If I'm not mistaken. Firestorm is a very powerful spell. And if I could find a way to get more uses out of it, I would. Rest assured. Give me your Titanite. Or not. So yeah, what is this? That is a massive skull. Of some demon looking thing. That's just creepy. It's a good thing we don't run into those down in Tomb of the Giants. At least not yet. <laughs> we haven't been through the entire Tomb of the Giants. There is that sealed portal thing. That sealed wall that we eventually have to go through. And since there is a giant skull like that, I wouldn't be surprised if we bump into the enemy that owns it at some point. Okay. Yes, first let me get my souls here. Geronimo. It's just a little bit of souls, but I don't want to lose them. Regardless. get out of the curse. I think I have surprisingly high curse resistance. Okay. I hit him, just not that much, damn it. Ugh. Get out of there. God dang it. That, I hate those guys so much. I'm going to kill him. Unfortunately, that first firestorm burst that I used was, um... <sighs> a little bit short of its mark. It should have hit him twice for over a thousand damage, but it didn't. Good news is, I get a chance to get more Titanite. Yay! Hmm. I, I honestly don't know what to do about this mushroom. Because chances are there's going to be more in there. It might be a better idea for me just to kill those two basilisks in there and then rush inside that room. Because it did look pretty spacious. I could probably actually get a fight in there. And walk circles around him. Yes. Now I can stagger you, right? Yeah. Nice. Crap. Not so nice. I'm not going to die to you. Quit. Quit dodging. Come on. The guy sat there and like spun his heels for a moment. I'm just being awful in my controls apparently. Titanite? Twinkling? No. So even with... I do have the ring on, yeah. Even with the gold serpent ring, man. 
Still a very low drop. And they have skulls in their mouth. That's beautiful. Well. Thought I was going to get the stagger off. Get out of there. I'm going to heal up. Oh, and you can kick. You multi-talented bastard. Well, I don't think you can parry these things. Someone actually told me you cannot parry animals. I'm pretty sure that this would count as an animal. Twinkling Titanite. Look at all of those skulls. That is just creepy. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. This could be an entire fail video dedicated simply to trying to kill this mushroom guy because I said I was going to. I may end up eating those words. Geronimo! And that's how you land without taking damage. out of there. And yeah, okay, we're gonna fight this guy in here this time. Okay, I thought for sure I'd be able to hit him twice, but no. No, you don't. Not gonna give him a chance to swing twice at me and actually connect. I've learned my lesson. Or not. I did not think he was going to swing there. Run for it. I need a sip. I need a sippy of my Estus. You're going to die, Mushroom Man. Right now. Okay. A thousand souls. They don't seem to drop anything. So... I was hoping that this would lead right up to it. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> Good lord. I don't know what I was thinking there. Apparently, I wasn't. Always watch where you're going, like right there. I just about slid down the side to my doom not be wise or helpful at all 20,000 souls is enough for me to level up once or to buy a ton of arrows but to the person who left that message down there wait one thing I don't understand is if they can't take it what are they still doing down here are they just trying repeatedly for hours Oh, so you have a Nomine attack, huh? I don't like creatures that can bite me. At all. It's normally almost a guaranteed death move. Whenever something eats you. Okay. So, three thrusts. And then move. That's what I'm learning. He really wants to eat me this time. There we go. Titanite? Yes, and a purging stone. Wow. So I guess you could f kind of farm indefinitely down here, and you wouldn't even have to worry about curses. That's good to know. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. It had that look. I think it wanted to try and eat me. One, two, dead. Are you gonna drop me anything? Oh, are you stingy? Nothing. I've saved myself, what, 16, 20, about 24,000 souls just by getting this Twinkling Titanite? It's not too bad. 
It'll give me the uh, option to level up some of my other armor. Or weapons, actually. Just to test them out. I don't plan to switch any of this for a long time. Unless I can find a better shield, maybe. Okay. In and out. I don't really have to kill this thing, I don't think, but I'm going to. Weapon at risk. Crap. Yeah, I'm doing significantly less damage. Whenever your weapon is at risk like that, it um, instantly does less damage and becomes much less effective. I don't know why I have my shield up here. There we go. Not the most interesting way to fight, but get out of there. It's about the only way I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these things. Little stings and moves. Get out of there. There we go. Now, do you guys drop anything? Like, their forest brethren almost always dropped that, um, I think it was lightning stuff. I don't really remember what it was. I should have repair powder, yeah. I bought this stuff so long ago and have basically never used it, but there we go. Now, let us see if I can not be an idiot and fall off. No. Keep your shit to yourself. There's crabs over there. That is a really narrow walkway. Lovely. I can't wait to fall off and drown. Um, how? How do I get that item in there, then? What did I miss? There must be an illusory door, so, and yeah, an illusory wall somewhere. Cause it's not like I can jump. So I know it's not a jumping puzzle. It better not be. I hate jumping puzzles. What about you? No? Aha! It's not a jumping puzzle, it is a falling puzzle. And like all puzzles of this type, the camera is your worst enemy. I heard something. Am I getting ambushed from behind? Miracle. Great magic barrier. Okay. I probably can't use it, can I? Takes 24 faith. Miracle of Bishop Havel the Rock. Cover body and powerful defensive magic coating. Havel the Rock, an old battlefield compatriot of Lord Gwyn, was the sworn enemy of Seth the Scaleless. He despised magic and made certain to devise means of counteraction. So, if I could cast it, it would be extremely useful, probably against Seth, um, or anyone else who, ha who uses magic. Unfortunately, I do not see myself taking my faith up nine levels, which is what I think it would take anytime soon. <sighs> it's just not, it's not, it's not in the plans for my character build. Kill you. Try not to fall down into your little sand trap there. Are you going to have trouble getting out of there? So I'll tell you right now, that'll make my job much easier. Okay. Did you drop anything? No. I can't believe they only give 200 souls. I guess this path isn't as narrow as I thought it was going to be. There is a little bit of a walkway on in the water there. From a distance, <laughs> I look like just a little thin pencil strip. I'm really surprised they didn't make me fight on this. Yet. Then I'm going to end up eating my words here. 
Oh no. I see something. What is that? It's breathing, whatever it is, and there's a bonfire here. Please do not be a bad guy, even though you are a dragon. I can rest here. Okay. I'm not going to kindle it just yet. Can I talk to you? Pray to the everlasting dragons. Oh. They're a covenant. Well, I happen to like the covenant I'm in. Could I attack this guy? <laughs> he has a tail. I probably could. However, again, on this character at least my motto is if they don't attack, I don't attack either. So, is that all that is down here? It's a dead end, so I think it's got to be. It's a pretty beautiful, creepy place. I wish I could talk to you, dragon guy. Let's see. Can I ever warp back here? Firelink Shrine... I don't know if I can warp back here. Um, most importantly, I don't know where I want to go. I'm not going to stay down here anymore. The only thing, the only reason I would stay down here, it seems like, is if I wanted to grind to the Twinkling Titanite. Which, at this point, I don't. And I also think it would be much quicker for me to go to the Painted World and um, grind up souls there to buy it. Rather than running across the slow sand, killing those things, hoping that they drop it. Um, in the Painted World, I can make about 10,000 souls every two minutes with almost no risk. It's pretty... Dang straightforward, actually. Me and Avak have honed our grinding technique. Um, let's see, we could go to the depths, the undead parish, painted world, no. If you go to the painted world, you can't actually get out unless you run all the way through. Tomb of the Giants. I'm glad I can teleport back there, but... Um, Hmm. Now, if I went to the Daughter of Chaos, we could go... You know, we're going to the Daughters of Chaos real quick. The Daughter of Chaos. Because there is something that I want to try around here. I'm not yet ready to go to the sealed um, wall. Let's see. Stone Dragon. So I can teleport back there. That's interesting. We're not going to. I did want to just verify that. Can I reinforce my flask? No. Okay. Enchi, how are you doing? No. We've already had this talk. Also, wait. I did see something. <laughs> I did see something. Um, this was another thing I learned from Avak. Eminent Saint. I somehow had managed to avoid this um, whenever I came through here before. But he will sell us some stuff. But I'm going to have to allow myself to be a little bit violated. Again, I don't know how I managed to avoid this happening the first time I came through here because I am pretty certain that these guys did attack me. But I'm going to remove my mask. Look at that. Never mind. I was going to say look at that beautiful mug, but no, it's not. These guys will actually... If they don't do that... No, you fool. There we go. These things will actually implant you with a larva. And... If you allow them to do that, you'll see. We'll deal with it here in a bit. However, what I wanted to come down here for was to try and fight um, some of these Taurus demons down here. Which is what they are. There is an, an entire army of them back there. And quite frankly, I think I see a shiny back there. Yeah, I'm curious. 
I doubt that they are weak to any type of fire, and I doubly doubt that I will have any time unable to wield that weapon. Yeah, it needs 20 strength, okay. I'm not surprised. You know what, maybe they'll be weak to lightning. I'm gonna shoot one of these guys. Just get their attention. Right at his feet. Need a little bit more arc. He's not amused. And he's poisoned. That is actually good to know. If I wanted to be cheap, I could then just poison these guys. And, um... Yeah. Well, it's good to know I can block his attack, kind of. One more for the road? Yes. Awesome. We're going to kill these guys for a bit. 1,200 souls. Um, let me boost my humanity up, too. I want to have maximum item find while we kill these things. Which, to get maximum item finds, you need tinned humanity and the gold ring equipped. In fact, I think I might see two shiny objects back there. <sighs> the reason I want to buff this up now is because I don't know if these guys will respawn. And if they are going to drop something rare for me, now is the time to do it. Okay, back to my flasks. Now the question is, can, can I accidentally pull multiples? Because if more than one shows up, I'm in trouble. That went right over his head. And so did that one. There we go. And that actually staggered him. I think the first one was kind of staggered, too. Yeah. It does three damage every little tick. Between your legs. Now oh, I got greedy. Got greedy there, too. Oh, groin shot. Not very sporting, I will admit. Hey, they do drop stuff. A demon's great axe. Interesting. Certainly not something I will be using. Let's see, who is next? How about you, buddy? Oh, goody. I can pull multiples of them. Or not. They just line up. Nope, I can pull multiples. That's not good. That is, in fact, decidedly bad. Um, I gotta deal with you quickly before your boyfriend gets here. Go. Okay, never mind. He decided to not come, thankfully. <laughs> that had me a little bit worried. That's right, I can still get worried, believe it or not. Tickle. That was not a good shot. Did they actually go back there to investigate that arrow? I think they did. I'm gonna cut your tail off. Or not. Because I'm, I'm not that talented yet. Yes. My lovely Baldur sword. Where would I be without you? And then there were three. But I am hoping to only pull one. Plink. Okay. Oh, come on! That's... Now is not the time for that. I had completely forgot about that in that brief span of like five minutes. So yes, getting implanted with a larva 
makes your head explode. <laughs> like that. Okay. Thankfully I know where your weak spot is. Well. Aren't we a pretty looking larva carrier? Um, there is a way to get rid of this. I'm not going to do it just yet. Primarily because I, I need this. Plus, I don't think it looks that bad on me, does it? I mean, look at it. It's a little bit pus-filled and pockmarked, but... Go. And that did not stagger him. Okay. Yeah, this is, they're really weak to up-close and personal combat. That's kind of stunning to me. Only 600 souls for him? Does this thing also cut in half the number of souls that I get? This, this larva on my head, it must. Up we go. Let's say, I, I do know some of the downsides. I know that it makes you weak to fire. Which in a place like this is very bad. Oh boy. I want my stamina regeneration back. And another demon great axe. Okay. So, my question now is, how do I get those items that are out there? I think I know how to get that one. But the other one that was across the magma, that is going to be a little bit more difficult, I assume. Also, I just want to peek my head over the edge there. I wonder if that's an illusory wall back there. Yeah, see, I thought that if you stepped in this stuff, you instantly died. Do you not? Hmm. What does my fire resist? It do, how much damage does it do? It does a lot. Again, because I have this thing on my head. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of it right now. However, I will get infected again and get another larva. But it, having that thing on does double fire damage. Let's see. Fire defense. What has the highest fire defense? 22... Yeah. Does anything have higher fire defense? No. That has... But that'll slow me down. It'll put my weight over the limit. 49. Okay. How much damage does... Oh my goodness. There's no way. There is no way for me to get that. I'm going to end up dying. And it is probably nothing... That's even any good. I don't want to lose my humanity and my souls. Well. No. There's, there's got to be a... Actually, hang on. Ah, oh, dang it. If I had Flash Sweat, I could probably do it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there either. I almost forgot about that spell, but I don't have it attuned right now. Let's see, if I was to run across this... Are you ready for me to die? Let's do it. You bastard game. Oh, it didn't let me up there. Well... Flame... yeah, it's teasing. You want the flamestone ring, you big dumb idiot. Let's see, NG, do you have anything to say to me? Yeah, okay. Well, I am going to switch back to my other gear here. And whenever we return, we are going to go back down there. I might take a break, so... Um, let's get rid of combustion. And where's Flash Sweat? 
There we go. Hopefully, whenever we come back, I can get some of those items, and I can recover my humanity and souls. But if it's in that magma, I am not feeling too confident.